We respectfully request the Sangha Great Virtues for the sake of this assembly and all living beings. Please turn the wonderful Dharma wheel to teach and guide us how to end birth and death, leave suffering and attain bliss, and quickly realize non-birth. Kung thin dai de hức tang thin Vi thư pháp hội cập nhật thiếp chúng sân Tịnh chiến diệu pháp luân giao đạo ngã mùng như há liệu sân thoáng tư lý khổ đạc lạc tốt chứng vô sân. Homage to the blessed, noble, and perfectly enlightened one. Nam mô sa đan thô su chê đô yê la hơi đi sa miêu san phu tô xê. Nam mô ta tác tha tu ya ta ya la đi tham miêu tham bồ đà tố á. The unsurpassed, profound, subtle, and wonderful Dharma in a hundred thousand million aeons is difficult to encounter. Now that I'm able to see and hear, I will receive and maintain it. I vow to fathom the thus come one's true and actual principles. O Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, uh, Great Master, Six Bay Chart, Great Master, Great uh, First Bay Chart, all good monks and nuns and all good no advisors of me to follow. Chu Liu Zhu, Chu Zhu, Go Wei Chu Jia Ren, Go Wei Shan Chu Shi, me to follow. Chu Ta, Khen Tu, Lục Tổ, Thầy Tinh Hóa, Quý Thầy Cô và Quý Vị Thiện Chi Thức Ca Di Đà Phật. Hello everyone, today is the 18th of March 2023. We're here in Wei Mountain Temple to continue discussing chapter, oh, uh, chapter something, chapter four of the Six Bay Track Sutra. You're now on slide uh, 27. This chapter is about concentration and wisdom. Mm. The title is kind of uh, very general, but it's kind of he has a peculiar way of teaching concentration and wisdom. And as you go through this, it's kind of a short chapter too. As you go through this, you see that uh, he te- he taught about a certain type of concentration only, meaning single conduct concentration, samadhi, whatever. Okay, and then the wisdom. Okay, so he's talking about if we have concentration, then you have wisdom. When you have wisdom, that's what will help you to maintain concentration. So the two are together, one hand in hand. Okay, all right, let's continue. 27 text. The Master instructed the assembly, good knowing advisors, the single conduct samadhi, the constant practice of maintaining a straightforward mind in all places, whether one is walking, standing, sitting, or lying down. Okay, see? You see, until slide 25, the master is going through an introduction, okay? Now he, he goes, he, he brings up the, the, main, the, main, the, the main topic, concentration and wisdom. So he says, 
good known advisors, people in the know of Buddhism, good known advisors here uh, means also means that you being exposed to the great Dharma of good no advisors. That's why you called good no advisors. Because although you haven't really been able to accomplish a Dharma yet, but you have wisdom already of the good no your good no advisors wisdom. Am I making sense to you? When you listen to a great knowing advisor's wisdom, teachings, you are acquiring wisdom yourself. That's the beginning of your wisdom. That's why now you're called good knowing advisors. It's not kissing up to you. It's a fact that the seeds of wisdom are in you already. That's why he says, you are a good knowing advisor. Because someday, maybe tomorrow, maybe this afternoon, maybe next year, maybe later, okay, you'll be able to connect with the wisdom they've been hearing from a wise teacher. And that is invaluable. That is priceless. I remember my, my, my first part of my life, uh, I was lived totally confused, not you know, having no sense of direction. When I had a problem, didn't know what to do, where to look for answers or for help. Whereas here, when you hear about this, you say, okay, this is a place here. When I have a problem, I don't know quite how to solve it. I can go in that general direction here, this, these types of places for me to find answers. That's an edge you have over the others. Sounds like no big deal, but you know, let me tell you, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a priceless knowledge, okay? Because without that, you will go through your life totally confused. The single conduct samadhi is, is a constant practice of maintaining a straightforward mind in all places. He says, whether you are in the four compartments, meaning the four ways that you conduct yourself, whether you are walking, you are standing, you are sitting, or you're lying down. It covers everything you do during the day and night. Okay? Now you're sitting. Huh? Uh, does eating, uh, is, does it include eating? Yeah? What, where's eating here? Five. What, where is eating? I'm assuming when you're sitting down to eat, even at that moment. Ah, yeah. uh, you, you sat down to eat. The Roman. They love to lie down to eat. Hmm? That's the four compartments. Okay? Lying down. The Spaniards, what do you like to do when you eat? Sitting. <laughs> How boring. <laughs> you guys are also boring. Huh? Uh, and when I was working, I was uh, driving when I was eating. <laughs> no, it's standing on the bus. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Detail, details. <laughs> okay, so all the four compartments, everything you do during, you know, during the day and the night, okay, it's called, it has involved walking, standing, sitting, or lying down, okay? That's called four compartments. Okay, what do you do? What is this samadhi here? Samadhi here, believe it or not, is to be straightforward. That's a samadhi practice. It's not 
crossing legs. Look at her legs. Yeah. <laughs> huh? You don't need to cross your legs. Alex said, yeah! <laughs> no leg pains. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't you like to be studying from, from Master Hui Neng? He says, no full lotus. I don't care. You don't sit in full lotus? I don't care. He says, but instead of full lotus, I like you to keep a straight forward mind. That's it. That's the practice. Questions or comments? Anyone would like to, f oh, to file a complaint? <laughs> yes, nine. Thank you, Master. What is, what's the single conduct? The one thing you do. Yes. Okay. Um, Sometimes when I'm reciting the Buddha's name, I notice that there's like a separate voice just thinking about other things. And I, and I try with all my attention to just reduce it to just saying the Buddha's name. And that my whole body, mind, spirit, whatever, is just all focused on doing that one thing at that one moment. And then each like sound is the sound that I'm making at that one time, not focusing on the whole word or anything like that. Is it something like that, but with everything? When you were younger, did you have an invisible friend? You did, right? He's still with you. That's a, that's a boy you, you, you heard. <laughs> Some friends are for life. Some friendship is a lifelong. Ooh, scary. <laughs> so when you marry Alex, you're marrying two people. <laughs> you like, huh? The Koreans like it. They're all laughing. <laughs> yeah. One for the price, you know, two for the price of one. <laughs> <clears throat> On sale today. Uh. you still trying to understand when are you going to stop? You practice a little bit and then you say, this is going on, I don't get it. You're still trying to understand, there's nothing to understand. You just cross your legs, you just recite Buddha's name. Whatever happens, happens. Life goes on. You recite the Buddha's name, it's still, it's still, it's still, the, the, the sun is still shining. It goes on. It doesn't stop for you. Don't think so much. The instruction are just recite the Buddha's name. That's all you do. And you try. Let me explain to you once for all, all of you. When we tell you to recite the Buddha's name, just recite the Buddha's name. We tell you to recite the mantras. Recite the mantra. That's all you do. Whatever happens, you go back to it. It's that simple. There's no need to understand. No need to justify. How come I'm reciting and I still, I still have these thoughts? I'm still uh, hungry. I'm still, you know, I'm still not concentrated. That's the whole point. You keep doing it, and eventually you get concentration. There's nothing to understand. Understanding will not help you attain concentration. The only way for you to get there is by doing, and keep on doing and doing, and naturally it's going to happen. What happens when you try to understand? When are you going to get this? What happens when you say, why am I doing this? Why is there a noise in my voice, in, in my mind? 
Why am I, why do I keep on thinking? Why is the sun shining? Why is there music somewhere? Why? Yes, so on. Yeah, uh, I think that leads to confusion. Leads to confusion, yes. Two. Um, I also think it stops you. It stops you. Three. Do we have a three? No three today? <laughs> three. Go for it. Three. Yeah, I think when we were children, we were always taught that you need to ask why. Why, why, why? Yeah, why? That's what children do. Why, why, why? Why me? Four is not present, so we... <laughs> okay. It's, a, it's, it's the sickness of smart people. You're too smart for your own good. The instructions are designed for you to overcome your weakness. Too smart. You're too smart. That's your problem. You know too much. I tell you more, you want more. And you ask for more, I give you more, and you ask for more. It's on and on and on. You're trying to understand constantly instead of just doing it and doing it and doing it without asking why. If you do it without asking why long enough, you see the difference. And that's how faith develops. By doing, not by understanding. Understanding does not, I repeat, understanding does not produce faith. Understanding is delusion. Do you realize that? When you understand, you seek understanding, you simply are deluding yourself. Shh. Okay? Yes, this is why we do what we do to make a living. Okay? We seek understanding so that we can, you know, get paid and so forth. But in, in getting paid, we're getting more deluded and we pass it on to our students. Shame on you. Professor, ex-professor, agree or disagree? You agree too fast. <laughs> So insincere. <laughs> At least as much as struggle, you know, you've been doing it your entire life. You say, I agree. <laughs> no resistance whatsoever. And that's what you have to stop. Resist the temptation to rationalize everything, try to explain everything, try to understand everything. Because that understanding is based on your thinking mind. Your understanding is basically thinking. And we teach you to recite the Buddha's name, to do the single conduct samadhi, is in order for you to reduce thinking. Don't indulge. That's all. Yes. Excuse me, naturally your thoughts will arise. Why, 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 why? That's natural because that, that's what you've been doing. But when the thoughts arise, don't do anything. Let it arise. It will die by itself. Don't need to do anything. Habit energies. Yeah, that's all. Okay? You try to understand, I will beat you next time. I'm warning you. Okay, next time, can you give, get, get, uh, get me a sling? <laughs> you know what a sling is, don't you? A sling? You know, it's like a Y-shaped branch with two rubber bands and something in the middle. And I will bring the, the, the gravel, the rock.
I used to be very good at that. I was so good, people call me David. <laughs> I'm not bragging. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Too early to be joking, but the queen, oh, 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 oh. it's supposed to be funny. Oh, oh, oh. And they're so sleepy, right? All the, all the, look at the, the Koreans, they half asleep, half awake, you know. <laughs> Why am I doing this? They ask themselves. It's like five, six in the morning for them. <sighs> okay, okay, won't be long. I'll be there with you. <laughs> okay, okay. So, what is, is this samadhi here? It's so beautiful. Can I make a confession with you? When I read the sutra and I explained it the first time, no one really <laughs> asked me the question. But is it, is it what samadhi practice is? Single conduct? What is single conduct? Okay? And no one there asked. And even when you read the explanations in the, from the Chinese and whoever what they explained it, no one really explained even Masha Shenhua really, didn't really explain it. No one really asked him. Single conduct samadhi is what? He says, what is a single conduct? Do one thing. What is this one thing here? Being straightforward. That's it. Do one thing only. Doesn't matter what you do. You sit. You're straightforward. You eat, you're straightforward. Hmm? You meet people, you're straightforward. Is that clear? That's the samadhi practice. That's all you do. You keep a straightforward mind. Hey, you love Daniel or not? See, not straightforward. <laughs> it's like when see, I catch them all the time. I catch her all the time. I ask Daniel, you love her? Yeah. When I ask her, mm, no, I'm not sure. <laughs> see, it's like a self-defense thing. You know, you don't ask a girl that. You see, the men are giggling here. You, you, you don't see it. The men, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like them. Uh, yeah. yeah. So anyway, mm. so this single conduct samadhi is that it's very beautiful. That's why it's called single conduct. You do one thing. You concentrate on doing one thing. Doesn't mean you're successful right away. Very much like we're telling you to recite the Buddha's name. Right? Recite Buddha's name. But he said, but uh, uh, am I supposed to recite when I'm hungry? Am I supposed to recite when I'm sleepy? Recite! Don't ask so many questions. Just recite. Same thing. Single conduct. Here, he says, you do one thing. What is his conduct? Conduct here is, refers to keeping your mind straightforward. It's beautiful. What a, what a marvelous way of teaching concentration. Only a six-page chart will teach things like this. We teach you recite Buddha's name, recite mantras, you know, and so forth. He says, be straightforward. You know why? You, you find out later. You, you, you understand why. It's so beautiful because it's based on wisdom. If you do this conduct, it will develop your wisdom. If you have wisdom, then you will naturally be straightforward. Ah, ah. You're not impressed. <laughs> okay, next. Yeah. 
As the Vimala Kirti Sutra says, the straight mind is the Bodhi Mandala, the straight mind is the Pure Land. Okay, what does it mean? The Chinese quote this constantly. They quote that the straight mind is Bodhi Mandala. Everyone. Rings a bell? Chinese speaking person? No, not her. She's the Western side. Yeah. The true Asians. Okay? Hey, girlfriend. <laughs> She's in Samadhi already. <laughs> Hallelujah, it works, see? <laughs> okay? So you hear this constantly. So the straight mind is Bodhi Mandala. What does it mean? Bodhi Mandala is a temple, it's a way place. It's a place where you practice the way. Okay? More or less, it's like, you know, a place where there's a roof and then inside there's some statues and so forth. You know, that's a, that's a way place. Yes? But primarily, it's a place where you come in order to practice. To do your spiritual practice. Okay? As you seek bodhi, seek enlightenment, the practice has a goal, has a purpose. It's not for the sake of practicing. You practice in order to open your wisdom. Okay? So he says, the straight mind is the way place. What does it mean? I've been telling you, why, what happened? You forgot already? What did I tell you? Jung! I said, don't call me. <laughs> he said, he said see, what did he tell us? What did he tell us? He's a, he's a Jung in San Jose, go for it. He's like, he's been with me for like one of the longest. Off and on, off and on, off and on, of course. But, you know, so he, that's why, you know, he should know everything already. <laughs> okay? What did I tell you? Okay, never mind. You don't remember, of course. I, you know, don't take me seriously. What, what did Master Shinoa teach us? No one even remembers? Hey, girlfriend. Excellent. Do not lie. Spit it out. Don't lie. Don't think. Don't. There's no need to protect yourself. That's a straight mind. Isn't it? Agree or disagree? Whatever you think, spit it out. Whatever is in your head, Speak it. That's all. It doesn't mean that you are wise. It doesn't mean that you are right. Okay? Just being straight. That's cultivation. And that is how you enter samadhi. That's how you develop concentration. That's how your wisdom unfolds. And some you should be saying, that's all? Really? <laughs> I mean, all this is for that? All these lights and, uh, and uh, speakers and fancy microphone, it's just this? That's it? 
And Joseph says, God, this is so easy. I should, I, and have to go to school for, oh, for, for many years, and these people come here, and this is what all they, they do? Huh? High school is much harder than this. She tried becoming a monk. See how easy it is. <laughs> yes. Five. Yes. So, Cinco. Master, um, it, what if it's a bad thought, an insult, a criticism, and uh, it just comes and choosh, and because I, um, like I say yesterday, I've, I've, I, I was able to see my criticism toward my husband coming out of my mouth, and I was mm -hmm. like, oh. and then I just start noticing myself every day. I was looking at myself, and I was like, I need to like really zip it. like to yeah. zip it yeah. but now you're saying it'd be a straightforward and um sure. you know uh i feel it for my husband thank you thank you thank <laughs> you so much thank you thank you <laughs> and so <laughs> i wanted to see uh, you know um just see my husband. I That's a good point. <laughs> is, is zipping it being straightforward or not? <laughs> now you should be doing like you. <laughs> Don't call me. Don't call me. Don't call me. Is zipping it being straightforward or not? So, yesterday and the day before, I tried to just look at my husband and just no, don't think, you know, so that way nothing comes out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that was my only solution, Master. <laughs> Xinjie, Zigmund, are you being straightforward or not? Four. He doesn't think so. Why not? What do you have to hide? Well, if it's, if this is what I need, Andres. <laughs> <laughs> is this straightforward? We have to ask Andres. Too bad he's not here. Andres, is this straightforward? <laughs> Nine. It's hard, it's hard for me to think that being angry or greedy or ignorant is being straightforward. And right now, like, I was seeing the same thing as Five was that, like, uh, oh, I, I, I should, you know, mouth off more if I'm just going to be straightforward. But then I was just like, no, because well, if I guess if I was straightforward, I'd be like, you're making me angry. You know, being around you is horrible or something like that. Like, and so, but that's not helpful. Or, and it's also, I think, my ignorance showing than anything else. <laughs> oh, why me? Oh, good Lord. <laughs> Just answer the question. <laughs> Don't make life so difficult for me. <laughs> He's zipping it. <laughs> Stay forward or not? <laughs> yes, because you're not vocalizing your anger. Yes, it's straightforward. <laughs> <You're not vocalizing. laughs> <clears throat> Anyone else? 
really just speak out what's in the mind? <laughs> she says, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> That's all I have to do? She says, I'm very new to this, but is that all you guys do? <laughs> all this? <laughs> I drove all the way from Long Beach here for this? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> it's, it's kind of hard for me because... Uh... <laughs> see? See what I mean? <laughs> she, she's struggling so much. She said, I, I can't take this much longer. Yeah, I would always Are you being straightforward? Are you trying <laughs> Yeah, I would, uh, I would think, uh, uh, what's a person who will hear this, will react to what I'm going to say? Uh, will this like, hurt the person if I really speak it out? <laughs> okay, so we have a new problem. <laughs> if you don't like someone, she asks you, do you like me or not? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> huh? Okay, let's be specific. Okay, related question. If you don't like someone and she comes to you and says, Do you like me or not? Do you hate me? <laughs> what do you do? In order to be straightforward, is, does it make sense? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Yes, sir. Seven. Master Xunhua also uh, teaches not to harm people. What is the most important thing? Not to lie or not to harm people? Because sometimes if we say the truth, we harm people. Okay, so we lie is not good, but, uh, uh, but, uh, but we don't want to harm people's feelings. I mean, you don't want to hurt the feelings either, right? Yes. Hurting feelings is the same as harming? Uh. I don't know, he's from Spain, so we don't know how Spaniards think, <laughs> okay? Well, uh, you say uh, too that uh, when we are angry and we uh, talk with anger to someone, uh, do we are harming him uh, uh, physically or energetically or something like that. Uh, this is true too. So when you slap your son, <laughs> I know. I warn you, I'm violent. <laughs> I love violence. Yeah, like <laughs> you slap your son. Is it harming? Jelly, not someone. I think it's harming. Yes. Jelly, not someone, is harming too. Oh, I think. Hurting someone by slapping? <laughs> what if you insult someone? It's the same as slapping, but without using a hand. Mm -hmm. It's hurting too? It's not. It's Harming is not the same as hurting, or I, do I miss? One has this, there's some, some scars here, one has a scar inside. Yes. <laughs> which one? Prefer, you prefer which one? Uh, well, well, I normally prefer uh, <laughs> not the physical one. <laughs> I prefer jelly and not the slapping. <laughs> there's no hope for you, okay? <laughs> Can we, can, we, can we talk about this? You're so, so confused. <laughs> You've been a professor too long. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you got to get away from Spain. Yeah, it's no good for you there. <laughs> Let me be honest with you. To be honest with you, yeah, something off. <laughs> so, so you're telling me slapping someone in the face is, is more harmful than hurting someone inside? Or is it the other way around? And I, I don't know. It depends on the situation. I, I, I say I'm speaking for, for myself. I, I did not behave correctly to my children and... Uh, I don't know really what is worse in, in what in... Is it illegal in Spain to slap your children? Yes, yes. It is. It is. Same here. That's why I like to talk about it. <laughs> it was not when I did it. <laughs> okay, okay. So, where were we again? Where were, where were we? <laughs> Lying. 
lying, yeah, lying, or 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 uh, uh, is is it is it yeah, uh, 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 yeah, no, uh, no, not quite there. You you got me confused again. <laughs> Zipping it, is it being straightforward? Yes, one. Well, we have some comments uh, from the internet. Uh, <clears throat> I'll start with uh, Andreas. My <laughs> mind is straight, but my eyes move. <laughs> Good one. I don't believe you. <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, okay. continuing from uh, Emily T., Zipping is not straightforward because if the mind is still thinking of something that's withholding information or bad thoughts, then it's still not straightforward. You know what she does? She likes to say, freeze! <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, Ray... Zhang said, what about instead of speaking out what's on your mind, write it down and then throw it away? <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and what do you have to say about such people? <laughs> Come on, girls. What do you say about such men? Loser. Loser. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now he's known as weak W2. <laughs> Andre is W1 and he's W2. <clears throat> Any other comments? That's it. Okay. Can we have the internet jump in here and help us out? What do you think? The poor Deji Sunim, she's been learning Buddhism and she said, what are you talking about? I don't hear anything about Paramita, <laughs> about, about, uh, uh, about the Prasnya. It's all, you, you keep on, on, on gossiping. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Is that straightforward? Seriously. I, want to, I wanted to ask the Koreans that. Is it straightforward for you to zip it up? Instead of speaking your mind, you zip it up. Is that being straightforward? Let's hear it. Master Z, were they straightforward with you or they zip, zip it up? Witness. Yeah, we want to hear from the witness first. Um, I don't think that's a straight for a workmaster. Are they like that? Are they like that over there? Now you're back safe, so you can be straightforward. <laughs> uh, I think not all the time. <laughs> All the time. Okay, Koreans, now is your chance to explain yourselves. Okay, I want to ask Teji Sunim. Teji Sunim, you feel the people at the temple are straightforward or not? <laughs> See how straightforward she is. It says, I can't use this microphone. It's not working. <laughs> <clears throat> We're not being straightforward. I <laughs> Thank you.
I'm sorry. <laughs> Korean and English, so the sound is not clear, so she doesn't understand what your question is. Do you think that the people at our temple, are they straightforward? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. <laughs> okay, okay, people, the temple, this is what she thinks of you. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? Jae Hyung, are you straightforward? She thinks that you sometimes are not straightforward. She said, I'm so sleepy. Can I? <laughs> sometimes yes, sometimes no. I'm hungry too, she says. <laughs> Translation. She said sometimes straight minus, sometimes it's not. So the Sunim is, is right. Okay. Now let me ask some of my true disciples. Young Sung, is Sunim correct? Yes, she's right. Okay, okay. Anyone else has a, has a different opinion? Yes, one. Oh, Ray has a couple of retorts here. Uh, being silent when you want to speak out is not straightforward, but there's the decision whether to create more afflictions or just go ahead and be straightforward. For example, if my wife asks me if I think she is getting fat, I don't want to create more afflictions by being straightforward. I could zip it, but then she would also think that means yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I'm not married, so I, do, I don't understand the example. <laughs> okay, is that it? Wow. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, in the back. Master, how do we apply this straightforward? Is it ha supposed to be everywhere, every places? Because uh, at work, if I were to straightforward to my coworker, I would curse at them. It's not good. <laughs> so, what do you do? You lie or you zip it up or what? What do you do at work when you cannot afford to be straightforward? What do you do? Um, so if I know that um, her calculation is wrong, uh, I will accept her, I will email exactly to the boss, but I also write down what I think to the boss is where she's wrong in this. Maybe she can take a look, the boss can take a look at it. And that's called backstabbing. <laughs> it's not being straightforward, <laughs> it's backstabbing. You don't go to the boss, you um, do that. No, Master, uh, the work I have to do, I have to send it to the boss for approval. And then it, with that calculation, I tell her, and then she uh, fight against me. And so I have to yield to her, and then I just say, this is what I think where it's wrong is. Okay, okay, fine. Half backstabbing. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Anyone else? Zipping it is it straightforward? Yeah, eight. Thank you, Master. I think uh, uh, it depends on the person. The some person is uh, who the bipolar or manic person at the time. Just a uh, zip it up is better. The straightforward to say something is he's not he or <laughs> so someone got some more words. So at the time, just uh, zip it up and don't say anything and. So person is to calm down, so that kind of situation just, uh, I think, a straightforward to mind. It depends on your intention. Straightforward means that whatever you think, you say. Whatever you think, you choose to zip it up, meaning you say it to yourself. You still can be straightforward. However, if your mind is so, and you say you don't say anything in order to disguise it, then it's not being straightforward. You understand? It's all in the nature of your mind. Is it clear? Koreans, pay attention. Don't be half and half. Be whole. Okay? Be whole. Don't have to say, sometimes I'm straightforward, sometimes I beat around the bush. Okay? Be straightforward all the time. That also gives you the option of not saying anything. Is that clear? It's important because when you're not straightforward, okay, here's what happens. You say something that disagrees with your mind, okay, you're creating, you're creating conflict internally. You won't like it. You won't feel comfortable. You'll be afflicted. You're hurting yourself first. Never mind about others. If they upset at you, okay, yeah, that's fine. But you hurt yourself. You're afflicting yourself. Yes, go for us. Um, so in my company, for example, when we want to say to someone that he's wrong, instead of saying it directly, they ask us to ask questions. So we help the other person to realize that he's wrong. You don't try to fool them. Okay? But it doesn't mean you have to offend them. Who says that being straightforward means that you have to offend someone? You're so ugly. <laughs> Let me speak my mind. Oh my God, why are you so ugly? Or like Ray, honey, why are you so fat? <laughs> I haven't seen you in two months and now you... <laughs> No, Ray, you don't do that. <laughs> That's not straightforward. That's stupid. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, one. Uh, Jane Clymer brings out a good point. She states, wait until the time is right to speak. That is the middle way. We're not even talking middle way, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking a very simple concept. Do not contradict your mind. That's being straightforward. It applies not only to words, but also in behavior. Do we understand each other? Words this is what I use as an example for you to illustrate that whatever you say, okay, is in sync with what you think. But also, also in terms of bodies as well, not just mouth. Body karmas, the three karmas, mind karmas, mouth karma, and body karmas. Is it clear? So your mind karma is consistent with your body karma and your mouth karma. That's being straightforward. Is it clear? If I put it that way, is it clear to you? Hmm? Huh? In no uncertain terms, there's no compromise here. 
have to be in sync. But you don't have to do anything. You don't have to pretend. Yes, three. I just want to comment that I wish I had this lecture 40 years ago. <laughs> it took me 40 years to tell my dad my true feelings when he dumps all his negative emotions onto me. Yeah, I was always worried that I would hurt him, uh, so it took me 40 years to do that. And uh, he didn't feel glad when I told him that, but after that, I think our relationships uh, actually become stronger because he knows what I really feel about when he does that to me. And yeah, now I think he's fine. Just at that moment, it was really hard. What you know, you what, would you, what I would tell you one great advantage of being straightforward is that even if we offend them, okay, it's, if we can overcome that problem, the, the bond becomes stronger. This, the nature of the relationship is faith. It's based on faith, on trust. If they know you straightforward them, they believe you can be trusted. Why? Because no one else is straightforward with them, by the way. No one, except us. Ching! <laughs> Does it make sense to you? Everyone out there, our society, we are conditioned to lie, to protect ourselves. It doesn't pay to be straightforward. However, you learn to be straightforward, and if you're smart, sometimes you offend them on purpose. And if they survive, they grow stronger. The relationship the bond is stronger. You cannot go around all day like the Koreans, worrying that they're going to offend someone. Hi, you know, am I correct? Huh? You Koreans are so worried about you're going to offend someone. Yeah, it's like your, your, like your, your nightmare it would be a nightmare for you that you inadvertently offend someone. I think uh, Korean people are educated by that, yeah, the moral. They're terrified of that. And that's why sometimes it's better to, you know, do something in order not to offend, okay, uh, rather than offend. And that's why, if you are like that, may I say, and, and again, uh, I hope that Koreans will get offended, uh, <laughs> that the relationship is not really. Uh, uh, there's not a whole lot of trust. You cannot be yourself. You're so afraid to offend someone and be judged. Well, it makes sense because Korea is a small country. In, a, in the U.S., you know, we are so big here, so many people. We will offend, we will offend Martina. Uh, what, you know, next week we go to a different temple. <laughs> we plant the fish in the ocean. You know. Any other comments? Yes, five. You know, Master is. Um, for me, it was confusing because um, growing up is. Uh, if you don't have nothing good to say, don't say at all. And then there is another saying that says, uh, you look more pretty being quiet. So just shush it. You know? Ooh, Mexican. And uh, yeah, because uh, it, it, right now when you say you hurt yourself more, it is true because then now if something is boiling up and, and you know you enter into that contradiction and you are not in sync, and eventually it's gonna come and erupt, and that is gonna be really, really bad at that point, because I have seen that, you know. That, this is what I observe. When you forced not to be yourself, 
you're not real as a person. You really, no one really trusts you. That's what's sad about it to me. That relationship is wonderful if it has ups and downs. It, nothing is hunky-dory all the time. There's no such a thing in life. A flower will die. Huh? You know, we, the nature of relationship is has ups and downs. And still, when you, it, it's the worst of time, you still manage to stick together. That's how the relationship gets better. Or you break it and move on. Okay? And find someone who's worth fighting for it. Yes, girlfriend. Well, Master, um, good time to share, to make a comment. It's just something very personal happened to me. Like, uh, I don't know, just yesterday. Uh, uh, so somebody asked me, you know, to help them buy something. And then later on, they didn't want it. Well, although at the beginning I said, you know, if you don't want, I was also interested in that item. And, you know, the person was bugging me, like calling me midnight, how's it going? And then I bought the item, you know, it's like... On, on, on Craigslist? No, I, it's like 300 bucks. And then have my friend do all this trouble. And then the person kind of disappeared on me, like for a week and talk to me. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if he did it on purpose. When I finally got to talk to him, he was saying, yelly, 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 like, oh, you, 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 you wanted it, right? You really want, you really liked it. Keep it, you know? In other words, I pay him back. Yeah. I mean, if he did it, Although on my end, I perfectly would be more than happy to take yeah. the item and I know what you mean. Would you like me to have a talk with Daniel? No, but, but then the way it, he, he did it, it was a very, very professional business where it just kind of dumb it on you. Oh, you want it, you like this so much, you know? And then I was, it took me like five times back and forth and eventually I was like, Wait, what? and then it kind of came out that he confession that, oh, I got it. My friend got it for me already. Yeah, you see? I was really upset. You, know, you see what happens? When you're not straightforward to her, she's a very upset. I mean, if, if the person would just from the beginning time. Yeah, oh, just be straightforward. Just I, tell me so. Hmm? I, got, I got it, you know. Would you mind to keep it? Like, you I know, agree. I would have. I would I not agree. be like that. You're on the better. same page. I'm so sorry. I would be straightforward, would you? Shut up. <laughs> Stop whining. <laughs> That's life. Stop helping that person. But, uh, well, yeah, I learned my lesson. But Do you realize it now? Uh, well, <laughs> it takes something to, to make it like, you know, bye-bye. Okay, okay, you so cruel. But I couldn't deal with that emotion for like a whole day yesterday. For the whole day? I, I did, but I, I think you it's gone You're very right sticky. Now. I couldn't, I couldn't help master. I didn't know what's going on. I couldn't resolve it. I feel for you, not. <laughs> so fake, master. <laughs> One, <laughs> you poor thing. Yeah, and that's what happens when people are not straightforward with you. Yes, one. Yes, I just wanted to uh, put it in a comment. Uh, Apple, I think that uh, you were to blame. To what? What? Wait, 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 wait. Yes. She's hurt. Hey, and the reason hey, is. Hey, Brady, she's hurt. I, you know what? We don't have to spit it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, the point I'm making is uh, it's called impression management. And if you gave any intimation or feeling that, hey, you kind of like that also, 
that carries a lot of weight to somebody else's ears that you didn't understand. It gave them the impression that you wanted it also. So what the hey, now you bought it, and I know that you want it. You bought it for me, but now I know if I turn my back on it, uh, it's something that you want anyway. So that was the impression that you left. Yeah, yeah, sort of, yeah. <laughs> so complicated. We're talking about samadhi. All of a sudden we get into, you know, relationships. <laughs> Can't we just talk about theory, you know, like, <laughs> just be straightforward. <laughs> yes, nine. Oh, thank you, Master. Um, not for my own tirade. Um, uh, growing up, my my mother always said. Oh, they go back to my mother again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She always was like, uh, she's always very straightforward, uh, very very straightforward. And she told me all the time, no one loves you enough to say this. Um, and <laughs> and like and like that. And then uh, and then so. Uh, but now, uh, growing up, throughout my whole life, people told me I have no tact. Because even though I think I'm like 10 levels below what my mother does, it's still like way more straightforward than most people. Uh, and so you, I feel like, are very tactful. Um, so how do you be straightforward and also have tact? You have tact? That's a hard one. Yes, eight. <laughs> See, I'm being straightforward. Really? Really That's a hard one. <laughs> Master, I just got over yesterday. I was totally okay. Now I got stuck with Brady. I got yeah, really, I agree. really <laughs> negative heart. Now, now it's stuck with me. We How have a we that? have an industrial fight. <laughs> Brady, you so <laughs> yeah, see, uh, get that out of my mind. Yeah, you're so yeah, somebody. yeah. She's only spoken. I have no somebody. Oh, yeah. You know, Toha did that. You're so insensitive. She put something on me and then she took it out. I couldn't take it out myself. Yeah, you too insensitive. <laughs> no, not that. Mm -hmm. um, no, people have feelings. It's not that. No. Just it's something oh. negative. From, it just stuck in me. Yeah, <sighs> you poor thing. I'm not poor. <laughs> I'm only poor in Samadhi. Master, stop being so mean. <laughs> yes, one. That's being patronizing. Yes, one. I'm skipping along this conversation into a more general. Yeah, yeah. Let's make it less, less personal. More, less personal, more yes. anonymous. Uh, we've got to remember that as Buddhists, in this case, in this subject of communication, interpersonal communication, we have two choices. One, we can go the route of being compassion, telling people sometimes what we know they want to hear. Or we can be the best of friends and tell them the frank truth that we know that's what they need to hear. Yeah. Very good. Okay, no more, no more. Let's, let's zip it. Let's zip it. <laughs> okay, Koreans. I'll be there next week. I expect straightforwardness. <laughs> I don't want half and half. You hear? <laughs> 100%, no half and half. Okay? Except for coffee. <laughs> they have half and half in Korea? Half and half. Half milk, half cream. What? <laughs> you don't have half and half in Korea? You don't have cheese, and now you don't have half and half. <laughs> My God. <laughs> don't say that, they get real offended. <laughs> <laughs> Today is cheese, okay? <laughs> and coffee. Yeah, I know. It's, it's... <laughs> okay, okay, very good. Can we go back to cultivation, please? You guys gossip too much. I just pointed out to you 
how simple concept like being straightforward, people talk about it, but they, you are really, really not sure yet what it really means, how it translates into every, every day's behavior. Okay? And that's a problem with, with, with thinking too much. You just think, 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 and reason, and argue, and, and, and make excuses, instead of looking at yourself. Straightforward, for definition, all of you, is that your mind has to be consistent. All the three karmas are consistent. If whatever the mind is, the mouth and the body has to be in sync. That's all. Is that clear? This is the first time I explained straightforward to all of you. No one explained it that, like, like that. Okay? No contradiction between mind, whatever your mind is, with the mouth, with the body. Okay? So, the mind, that mind is a way place. It says here that when you cultivate, okay, whether you're at home, that's all it says, whether you're at home, at work, be straightforward. And you'll be appreciated a lot more than you think. What if you're not? They don't deserve you. Don't worry. They're too weak. Weak number W3. Yes, A. Um, Master, I'm kind of confusing. How the being straightforward and enduring is... Uh, how can we wisely apply? Sometimes you know, one of the parameters is enduring. So when sometimes we straightforward and people take it wrong, so we have to endure it. That's a, really, that's a connection. That's part of it. Being straightforward usually comes at a price. You willing to endure it? That's quite often you get real benefits instead of half and half. You don't have to compromise. That's what I'm telling, reminding the Koreans. You don't need to compromise. Be yourself. Don't be so scared of being rejected or judged. It's okay. You survive. JMT. Ah, uh, Oh. 그러니까 고든 마음하고 다른 사람을 말로 공격하는 것의 차이를 질문드립니다. I, I want to ask, uh, what is the difference between straight mind and then attacking people by words? Yeah, for, 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 I was thinking of her, by the way, and then she, <laughs> for your case, you can be straightforward, but don't speak too often. <laughs> yeah. The how is more peaceful. <laughs> okay, you understand? To zip it is also be straightforward. Just don't, don't, don't have to speak all the time. But the problem is, 어 남편이 잘못했을 때그 수술을 제가 해야 되니까 입을 다물기가 조금 어렵습니다. The problem is that when my husband do something wrong, I have to take care of that thing. So it's very hard. Who's hurt? A husband or you? <laughs> 
둘다 힘든데 어, 남편이 일을 저지르면 제가 수습을 해야 되니까 제가 힘들 힘듭니다. Both, but when my husband do something, made an accident, some make some mistake, then I have to take care of that thing. So I feel very difficult. You what? You gur gur, whatever gur gur. I couldn't hear the last phrase. So I feel very hard. Hard or hurt? Hard. It's difficult. It's U R T or H A R D. H A R D. It's E R D. It's no such a thing. Hurt is for cattle. <laughs> yes, one. I don't have a solution for everything. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, getting back uh, to those of us that are in the trenches at work, uh, Twin Cow mentions most of my interpersonal relationships are at work, and I can't be straightforward and truthful to myself most of the time at work. Otherwise, I will not survive. Wow. That makes work very painful for me. Wow. What should I do? Are you, do you work at a temple? <laughs> Where do you work? You work at Google, don't you? Oh, Meta. Who? She, work, she works at Meta. Formerly Facebook. Meta. Meta, right? Yes. Okay. Formerly Facebook. Okay. It's okay. It's going down the drain. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know. Help out. I, 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 I don't know. What's going on at work? If you cannot be straightforward, you, you know, you know, happy with yourself and so forth. I don't know what to do. Yes, uh, at home. What do you do when you cannot be straightforward at at work? Master, I just have a question. What if my supervisor told me not to be straightforward because uh, she told me when I straightforward, it offend others. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go back to the theory only? <laughs> this is where I run into my limitations. <laughs> I can handle only Korean so far, but no LBGTQ. <laughs> what do you do? When your, your supervisor says, don't be straightforward, don't you dare, yes, one, what do you do? Well, what we need, Master, is a giant Buddhist recruiting campaign. It just sounds like everything is tossed upside down. Yeah. Y'all are working without enough yeah. oxygen. Yeah. Or something because it's yeah. don't tell me because yeah. it's gonna be upsetting. Yeah. I can't talk to these people yeah. because they'll get upset. I mean, come on. The world used to be so much simpler, huh? Amen. <laughs> See, you Koreans have it made. See, life here in the US is so complicated. <laughs> You only have to lie half of the time. We don't have such choices. <laughs> what do you do when your boss says, don't be straightforward, don't you dare? Then don't. You got paid to do that. I mean, if you pay me enough, I will do it. <laughs> no, it doesn't sound right. Let me, let me rephrase it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound good for a monk to talk like that. No. <laughs> Just pay me. 
<clears throat> how shall I rephrase it? <laughs> you paid not to be straightforward. What's so complicated about it? Okay? Now, if you stay, it's because you choose to get paid not to be straightforward. That's all. You don't like it, leave. Make sense? That's all. It's very simple. There's, there's this reality of life where the workplace where you are supposed to deliver and get paid for, for that. So it's a fair exchange. Yes, one. Well, Master, I can... Or I, I do disagree. You and disagree? I have a very, well, I thought we were friends. In, in my defense, this is a very well known um, air traffic control near accident yeah. that happened just because of this reason. Would you like to hear it? Which is the reason of? Yeah. Two pilots, Asians. One much more senior than the co-pilot. Yes. Made a mistake as they, I think, began their descent. He got something wrong. Yes. It almost caused a fatal accident mm -hmm. because the junior co-pilot, in out of respect for the senior pilot, wouldn't want to defy him or speak up or say, "Hey, yes. that's wrong." Yes. It almost caused an accident. And it caused uh, Air Traffic Control Association to make them both go to some kind of communication seminar. Yes. To make sure that in this serious situation, something like that wouldn't happen. Yes. So there you go. If you don't have good communication, healthy communication, both back and forth, you're bound to run into problems. Okay. So what do you propose? Well, you've got to have limitations on how you respect somebody and how and why you have to talk to them. What is the priority? If I tell you, you can't, you're on the wrong frequency, sir, you better change. If I don't tell him, then he's not hearing what's going on and we're in trouble, we're in the wrong airspace now and the, another plane's going to run into us. What's the solution? Hmm? It's called exception. And Buddhism has such things. Buddha says, you will not lie. For example. Yes? Thou shall not lie. Exception is you might want to lie in order to save someone's life. Same thing there, similar situation. You straightforward most of the time, at the time, at a point in time, okay, when lives are at risk then it's considered to be an exception. Does it help? Yes, that's uh, what Buddha did, right, during a um, talk, and a child was crawling over to an open well, right. and he said, here's some candy, come and get it. Right. Okay. Didn't have the candy. Didn't have candy, yeah. So we still friends? <laughs> Absolutely, without doubt, Master. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, so, so the point here is that it's a learning process. The straight mind, you see, as we, we discuss this back and forth, you see how difficult it is to, to, to try to be straightforward. In so many cases, so many situations, at work, at home, you know, and so forth. And... That's the nature of practice right there. You try to be straightforward, and you fail, and you try again. 
That's why it's called practice. No guaranteed for success. You keep trying. All right? The straight mind is the pure land. My goodness, we've been here, stuck here for like, 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 like uh, slide number three, four, hour and a half. The straight mind is the pure land. Okay? Uh, pure land here refers to the people there uh, are uh, the mind there. The mind are more refined than us. They're purer than us. Okay? Uh, there, and so, so the straightforward brings purity to the mind. Okay? Being straightforward will purify your mind. The more straightforward you are, the purer your mind becomes. Is that clear? 31. Do not speak of straightness with the mouth only, while the mind and practice are flattering and crooked. Nor speak of the single conduct samadhi without maintaining a straight mind. See, it's funny that we discussed this before, before we get to this slide. We talk about you know, the mind being straightforward, meaning the mind is consistent with the mouth and the body. Practice refers to body. You see that? Isn't that fascinating how, how we arrived at the same conclusion? Huh? Before even we look into this next slide. You see? Uh, and so, uh, so what, what the patriarch is is pointing out to us is, okay, pay attention, uh, Koreans. Do not flatter, do not be flattering, or do not be crooked. Your mind should not be flattering, should not be crooked. I am the reason I, I singled out the Koreans because they half and half. We Americans are hundred percent crooked. And the LBGTQ is 100% uh, not straight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, one. Master, I'm thinking, uh, what if... Think of our friendship before you make it. <laughs> <laughs> what if uh, in the realm of our wisdom and communication it comes out that we have to speak something and it's crooked simply because our wisdom is advanced to the person we're speaking of or perhaps an underling at work, we know ahead of time what's going to happen. So what we say, yes. do, is a bit crooked at that time. Yes. Very good. What do we do then? That's easy. It's called your assumption when you have wisdom. Okay? It's called expedience. When you have wisdom, it's okay to be not straightforward. <laughs> and that's Buddhism. <laughs> We're not, we don't skew towards straightforward all the time. We're half and half too when necessary. <laughs> Unlike the Koreans, they do it there all the time. We only half and half sometimes. <laughs> <clears throat> The Koreans don't find it funny. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, so what he says here, single conduct samadhi is 
Be straightforward. Is that clear? Very simple. The lesson we learned today is try to be more straightforward because that's how you develop samadhi. Isn't it interesting? We, you know, we train you Chan and Pure Land and so forth, especially for Murali who hates it because he cannot bend his legs. And, and, he's, and he says, why didn't you teach me earlier? You know, just be straightforward. It will help me develop samadhi. Alex is so happy. Look at him. <laughs> okay, 33. Simply practice keeping a straight mind and have no attachment to any dharma. You see, there must be a catch. Weren't you telling yourself? Got to be more than just being straightforward. Yes? That's the catch here. First, you keep a straightforward mind. Number two, do not attack to any dharma. That's what the single conduct samadhi is. You cannot enter samadhi if you have attachments. Even if you're straightforward, but you still allow yourself to attach, you will not enter samadhi. Isn't it clever how he teaches you? He says, straightforward, can you do it or not? And you, you keep on kicking the ball around, and say, okay, straight, okay, I understand, straight, straightforward now, okay? Number two, don't attach to anything. That's a single conduct samadhi. Is it clear? Isn't it beautiful? Settle down, settle down. <laughs> Uh, you have too many characters here, real characters in the temple. Okay, okay. Have no attachment to any dharma. Any dharma means that zilt. Dharma he means anything. Dharma he refers to anything that is that the mind thinks of. Your blanket, your toothbrush, your sweater, huh? anything you think of, don't attach to it. Is it clear? Easy, right, for you to do? <laughs> What's so funny? What? Is it? W w was I being funny? <laughs> 35. The confused person <laughs> is attached to the marks of Dharma. That's why they laugh. While holding to the single conduct samadhi and saying, I sit unmoving and falseness does not arise in my mind. That is a single conduct samadhi. <laughs> Please pay attention. This is important. He says, single conduct samadhi is straightforward mind and no attachment. Is that clear? That's the definition. And then what next? Next, what does he do? This is so beautiful. He says, there's a caveat. Don't be like this. You do this, you're in trouble. So that's called wisdom. That's the advantage of having a good no advisor. He says, don't do this because you cannot figure it out yourself. The role of the good no advisor is says, don't do this. Yes, five. Is that because then now you're going to be seeking or like, um, okay, so now you know what to do and now you're seeking? Is, is, that, is that why? No. No? Uh, because uh, people 
can look at single conduct samadhi as being straightforward, not attached to any dharma, and the next, when they do this, they think they are in that mode, but it's not. And that's a fallacy of people who cultivate by themselves. Yeah. They meditate a lot the whole day and then they read the sutras and they don't realize that they err into the, this particular area here, which is not single conduct samadhi. Someone has to tell you. So what happened is that uh, this is uh, part of the good knowing advisor's role is to tell you all the pitfalls, things you need to avoid where if you do this, you will fall off the cliff. And you can't recover. Very much like, you know, when you have children, you want to make sure you teach them, you know, stay away from drugs. Once you get hooked on drugs, it's very difficult to recover. And you make sure they're afraid of it, not get curious about it. I speak from personal experience. For some reason, my family, my brothers, they all try drugs. I, in contrast, was afraid of it. For some reason, I didn't get it. I tried once. <laughs> Did inhale. <laughs> Okay, but that fear there is what saved me. Never care to try the cocaine or the hashish and you know and so forth because of the fear. I'm sharing with you that trick. If they're afraid of the drugs, you're in pretty good shape. If they're curious, but they're still afraid, it's okay. They won't go deep. Okay? Hmm. Anyway, so he says, so he, he explains, 36. He says, this is wrong. Confused person is someone who misunderstands. Okay? Confuse that. You think you understand, and you don't realize that you are confused. This is the problem with confusion. You don't know that you're wrong. You think you're right. Okay? This person here, confusion is, uh, he's attached to dharmas. Forget about the marks. Okay? That's too complicated. To dharmas, meaning that he's attached to something. while holding, while practicing the single conduct samadhi, while practicing being straightforward, okay? He says, I sit unmoving, and falseness does not arise in my mind. What is falseness it does not arise in my mind? Meaning that no thought arises, including Alex, why? Okay? Why is a false thought? You ignore it. That's all. You, why? Say, oh, no, that's right. Why? And then you, you slide, you, 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 you slip sliding away. Yes, it's okay to ask why, but don't follow it. That's all. Don't indulge. Okay? I sit unmoving and no false thought arises in my mind. That is a single conduct samadhi. Why does it say no false thought arises in my mind? And, and, and even though no false thought arises in your mind, but you still have attachments to dharmas. 
Am I being inconsistent? Do you understand the difference? You sit there, you're not thinking anything, no false thought, no thought arises. How different is that from having no attachments to dharmas? Difference being, anyone. I'm tired of asking a question and having to answer it myself. What kind of students are you? And I, you know, I can't to praise you. Yeah, you are sound hearer now. You are enlightened now, and you can't answer anything. Totally useless. Yes, nine. Uh, I think it's similar to taking a bat and then hitting a ball with it, and then saying that you're playing baseball, but in fact you just took a bat and hit a ball. TMT. <laughs> Anyone else? Hmm? You sit there and no thought arises. Are we clear on that? You sit there and serene and peaceful. Sounds familiar? Huh? Koreans? Any of the ever happened to you, that thing? No thought arises? Raise your hand. No husband, Jumi. <laughs> huh? Even though no thought arises in your mind, does it mean you have no attachments at all? Of course not. It's a temporary state. When no thought arises, it's temporary. As long as you have attachments, you sit there, no thought arises, then you say, cheesecake. After 10 years, a thought arises, I could, I'd like some cheesecake. Got that? Because you nurture that attachment to cheese and cake and strawberry. <laughs> feels. Hmm? Okay? Is that clear? Okay, very good. 37. Such an interpretation serves to make him insensate and simply obstructs the causes conditions for attaining the way. 作此结者,即同无情,却是障道因缘. His understanding, as on the commentary on slide 38, such understanding only makes him insensate. How do you pronounce it? What's the, what's the, where is the inflection? Insensate? It sounds Japanese. Sensei, sensei. <laughs> no? You don't speak Japanese? Sensei is teacher. Or doctor. I just saw you know, there's some Japanese movies say sensei, sensei is a doctor. Most of the time, sensei, sensei is teacher. <laughs> it's funny that the, the, the Japs come to see me and say, sensei, sensei, say what? <laughs> no, I just call you teacher and say, I'm not your teacher, get away from me. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. So, it, this is what it means. Okay, the, the, the master has a way of putting it eloquently, but his, that's all it means. He says that insensate 
means that you have no feelings, no sensations. Okay? And that's not good for your cultivation. It will obstruct you in attaining the way. That's very important. Do not confuse samadhi with no feelings. Is that clear? He'll, okay, let's continue. 38, 39. Good no advisors. The way must penetrate and flow. How can it be, how can it regress and stagnate? If the mind does not dwell in dharmas, the way will penetrate and flow. The mind that dwells in dharmas is in self bondage. Here's a difference. Here's now you see why it's so important that the Bhajak have to come and explain to us. You read sutras, they only explain to you that no thoughts and so forth, okay? All these principles, but they don't explain it to you in a way of how you are, how it applies to you. What you do with those concepts. Is that clear? That's why I really, really worship Master Shenhua because he was the first one ever who explained the Dharma in this way. He translated the Dharma into actions. This is what you do and what you don't do. That's what patriarchs do. Okay? Hmm. He says, the master says, you meditate, you practice samadhi, yeah? Yeah? Huh? It doesn't mean you sit there and you have no feeling, nothing touches you whatsoever. For 10 million years, you still will not become enlightened if you harbor attachments. It's so powerful. You don't appreciate it. It's just so sad. I'm, I'm, I hope my being straightforward is going to hurt your feelings. But it's so sad looking at you. I see, I see how beautiful this teaching here. And you, yeah. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> what is the matter with you? It's beautiful. It's right there. The practice is not about being inflexible, untouchable. Okay? That nothing bothers you. That's not cultivation. That's not wisdom. He says here, when you wait, the way here, when you cultivate, you must penetrate and flow. How can you regress and stagnate? I don't touch me, don't talk to me, don't call me, don't text me. <laughs> what is it? Why so funny? I don't get it. What's so funny? Why are you all laughing? I didn't mean even to be funny. Okay, what does it mean regress and stagnate? Because it says, if the mind does not dwell in dharmas, your way, your cultivation will penetrate and flow. On the other hand, if you, you dwell in dharma, meaning that you attach to dharmas, dwell meaning that you, you sit on it, huh? like here, like there, you sit on it, okay? That is self-bondage. Go forth. Isn't um, feeling arise from thought, Master? 
Yeah, what about feelings? Feelings are normal. Then aren't we supposed to be careful with feelings? Because if we have feelings in the wrong way, it will affect. Okay. Is there something you have to discuss in private? <laughs> <laughs> No. Such a I... general question. <laughs> We're talking but about your what? feelings, right? <laughs> Is that something we can be straightforward about? <laughs> I mean, if you um, have feeling and you get too emotional towards something, and it will impact your wisdom. <laughs> can we talk straight? <laughs> <laughs> So, for example... For example, um, yeah. Um, what do you have feelings for? Who do you have feelings I, for? I don't have anything on top of my mind right now. Wait a minute, your husband's there, isn't he? <laughs> 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 you push me, I push right back. <laughs> Who's sorry now? <laughs> Okay, so um, if my husband does something that gets me Ooh. you angry. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> you see, you see how, how it is with us? We push the envelope. <laughs> Nothing is sacred, <laughs> including husbands. Go, continue, continue. This is getting interesting, finally. So, that feeling is not good, right? What feeling again, again? <laughs> what feeling are we talking about? Cynthia, do you know what feeling she's talking about? No, she said, okay. she, Master Jin says, please be specific. Spell it out. Be straightforward. I don't have anything in my mind right now. That's too straightforward. <laughs> he Fang, how do you feel about your husband? Number five. Uh, angry, a lot of times. Yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, <angry>. no. <laughs> yeah, yeah if, uh, if, I mean... Uh, uh, you still angry your husband after a long time? After a long time? Uh... Yeah, less and less, but still sometimes, yeah. You're still angry? Yeah. Oh, good Lord. When, when he's being like an AI to me, <laughs> not talkative, can't communicate with him, like mm. a computer, I, I don't know the password. Yeah, so... No, no, I mean, he fang, he fang. stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Let me tell you something, honey, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's something called, you need to know about something that Martina just said. Too straightforward. <laughs> he doesn't listen in, does he? No. <laughs> okay. Okay, make sure you bribe us. <laughs> uh. Okay, okay, let's cut off these two girls and they're too naive. <laughs> uh, yes, one. Got some internet traffic on this subject? Traffic, lots of traffic, yeah. Almost rush hour here. Uh, Diego Alfonso states, when you are attached to dharmas, this will cause confused thoughts to arise. And I guess he's uh, voicing that as a question. Yeah. Continue. That's it. The other one is from That's all Alta the traffic D. there is? You call traffic one? <laughs> one commentary is to call it traffic? Alta D, how do we let go of attachments? How do we let go of attachments? That's a good one. Huh? 
become depressed. <laughs> he said, I don't want you. <laughs> I'm too depressed. As his answer, as from personal experience. <laughs> Mom, I'm depressed. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Just leave the keys to the car. <laughs> yeah, one. Well, I have a question, Master, on this subject. Uh, I'm hoping there's a lot of time to answer it. If we are, uh, we don't have thoughts on dharmas, we're not attached to dharmas, I think you said, and we don't have uh, any senses on uh, our feelings or, or other personal matters, aren't we insensate then? Yeah. This is not meant for you to really understand. It's not something you argue and label and classify and categorize as this is insensate or uh, stagnant or regress. Okay, all this is just rhetorics. Let me tell you. I look at this and say, don't be attached to this even. <laughs> okay. Don't take this as a gospel. It's just say that remove your attachments. Like, uh, like uh, W1 says, how do you let go attachments? You'll find out later, eventually. Okay? But remember, it's so important to let go. You let go of attachments, and you start first by letting go of things that really are bothering you. Like her fang, husbands. Okay? Uh, it's supposed to be funny, but no, it's too so serious. Okay? Uh, you let go of things that really bother you. Don't try so hard, just one thing at a time. Like for some people, don't try so hard to understand. <laughs> he doesn't find it funny. When I make fun of everyone else, he finds it funny. When I make fun of him, got that? Just let go. I want to know? No. That's all you do. The thought arises, I want this? No. That's all. You don't go there. That's all. I don't do that. You can be like that, but I don't do that. Like this morning, what's a famous face? Ooh, me no talk. I don't go there. I don't care what you do. I don't go there. Be brave. You don't know what I'm talking about? Look up the, uh, this morning's talk about lucky look. And, and the Apache. Not the helicopter, the cowboy and Indians. Hmm? What? It's last night or this morning? Nice try. <laughs> okay, so all it means is that try to let go. And if you can't, you have to remember that you will stagnate. Okay? You will stagnate if you don't. That's all. Don't try to like, they take this literally. It's not meant for you to, to keep on checking this and memorizing this. No, just simple rule of thumb. If you have attachments, 
the biggest attachment, drop them. Try, try those. Okay? That's all. What really bothers you, try to drop them. Okay? If you can't, you will stagnate. That's all it means. Isn't that beautiful? Hmm? It's simpler for you to understand it that way. It's a little bit, when, when I explain it to you that way, it's easy for you to understand. That you should be asking yourself the question, what if I can't? Then your good new advisor will say, uh-uh, you're stagnating. You see that? That's how it works. It's not something you need to understand. It's about doing it, and doing it, and doing it. And then, when you stagnate, it'll be obvious. That's all. The problem with people who read the Six Bay Track Sutra, they try to do it literally. It's not like that. This is like a, a suggestion on what to do. And what trumps all of this is your good no advisor who says, this is your problem, because you can't see it yourself. Okay? Does it help? You cannot, you cannot understand everything. It's about trying it, and then you get stuck, and you get stuck, and you don't give up. Pay attention, boys and girls. You try hard, you get stuck, and you can't do it. I'm telling you right now. It doesn't matter how much you know. It doesn't matter how smart you are. You will get stuck. There will be problems you cannot solve. And what do you do? You don't run away. You say, I give up. You have a problem you cannot solve, you keep on looking at it, looking at it, okay? And you do it long enough, maybe your good advice will, will help you. But if you have a problem, you say, no, 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 you fix it for me, it ain't going to happen. That's what my master does. Master Srinua, he is so kind-hearted. He is so compassionate. When his students had problems, he said, I, let me fix it for you. So he fixes the problem for you, and guess what? You come back. They come back to him with the same problem. It's a different, you know, like a, 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 he, he, he fixed it for, for them, and then they come back with the same problem. Different woman. Why number two? <laughs> and then number three. Number four. And in the end, you know what he says? I tell you what. Why don't you uh, sit, sleep? And I said, well, I can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't sit in full lotus. The guy's very rich, by the way. And, but he's very sincere. He said, I love women. So he, you know, <laughs> so, 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 so he married one after another, after another. Okay, okay so, so, so. You rich, you can afford it. Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, so uh, in the end, Master Shunha says, I tell you what. <laughs> I tell you what. Instead of me fixing it for you, let me teach you how to do it. So he says, at night, sit sleep. When he says, I can't sit sleep. I can't cross my legs. He says, no, you don't have to cross your legs. Do a ding. Ding character. Chinese. You're not Chinese, oh, for, I forgot. <laughs> you ignoramuses. A ding is this, the character, right? Ding, ding, hmm? like an L. For us, it's L. I call ding just to confuse you. <laughs> it's an L. But the Chinese, they look at it in the mirror, so you go from here to here. For us, L is like this. The Chinese L is like this. Reverse L. Mirrored L. Cultural thing. Don't be envious. I'm very cultured. <laughs> okay, so he said, Master Shuan said, ding. So you sit, put your back against the wall, okay? And you stretch your legs and you sleep like that. And he says, is that all? He said, yeah. And guess what? He does his desires. So my point here is that Master Shri Hoa, now she's interested. Look at her. 
the professor. <laughs> uh, so, so the point is that Master Chenhua used to fix the problems for them. And they keep on coming back and coming back the same thing over and over again. Okay? Because they are not willing to face it. They ask him to fix it for them. So ultimately, you have to do it yourself. You have to face a problem, okay? And eventually, you will overcome it as long as you don't quit. Guaranteed. It's not about understanding how to do it. It's about doing it and not quitting. Enduring it. That's it. Understanding is so unimportant. So how sad he looks. People in the world spend their entire lives pursuing knowledge, not realizing that knowledge is stagnation. You agree? <laughs> See, he's not straightforward. He said, should I say yes or should I say no? I, I what? I am stagnated, also. It must be true. <laughs> it's true. So he's so insincere. It's, it's the same as before. <laughs> uh, I always catch all of you. <laughs> No change. After one, two hours, he's still the same as before. <laughs> still does not understand. Thank you, everyone. Huh? Thank you. Yeah.